country first. Mm -hmm. uh, we were having fun, you know, we were going out on dates, we were going to the movies, going to proms, all of that. Um, but your dad heard that greater calling, and I think due in part to uh, what we uh, remembered last Friday, which was Pearl Harbor, and uh, how that struck a chord with so many young people at that time. That was their call to arms, and certainly um, your grandfather and your dad uh, must have been thinking about that until he reached the age where he could enlist. And uh, I know my dad was in the Navy as well during World War II, and, and when people comment about how brave and courageous these young men were, he says, oh, we're just doing what everybody else was doing. We're just doing what needed to be done, and I'm sure that's probably the way your dad felt because, as has been mentioned, when he came home, you know, it's not as though he said, okay, I did my part. I'm going to put my feet up. You know, he got to the business of building community uh, through the church, through the rescue squad, and I have to tell you that I've seen the Tri-County Banjo Band perform a number of times at senior centers, and it, they just delight the whole crowd. And it was really a wonderful way to combine a great talent and bring such joy to everyone else. So he, he didn't rest on his laurels whatsoever. You know, he came back and, and did great stuff, um, not to mention starting a wonderful family. So on behalf of all the residents of Rensselaer County, um, I want to thank you very much for your dad and your grandfather's service. and. Uh, we um, thank you for the sacrifice uh, that it meant for him being away, certainly um, before he started his family, but all of the effort that he put into his community to be away while you were young and he was raising you all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.